Josh Newbold. I'm the game director under Asset Audio Evolution 2. And today we're going to be showing you some new dinosaurs and one of the new environments in the game. But we're going to be doing things slightly differently. So please welcome our special guest, Jeff Goldblum. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome to me, I guess, or welcome to us. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome to the audience, maybe, uh, 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 on this thing called the Future Games Show. First up, we have the temperate environment, and some of you will notice it's raining in here. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's rain. It's raining. And this is the first time that we've shown this effect in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Rain is one of the many weather challenges that the player will face as they're building their dinosaur theme parks. For example, in our desert environment, you'll be challenged with sandstorms, which will really put your management skills to the test. This looks lovely. This looks like some kind of resort. And now let's talk about the dinosaurs. We've got two new species to show you today. The first one is the Ichthyosaurus. Oh, this is an underwater dinosaur of some kind. I just did a little snorkeling uh, here and there. I, I, you know, I won't bore you with where, uh, but um, I saw a barracuda under the water all of a sudden after I was enjoying all these little fish and I was sort of frightened out of my wits. If I'd seen anything like this, can you imagine? Well, actually, you'll be pretty safe with the Ichthyosaurus. Its diet consists mostly of fish and is one of several new exciting marine reptiles that we're bringing to the game. So, so far, this clip is showing off, I would say, mainly dinosaurs. Not only the rain and different environments, which are very impressive and nice, but, uh-oh, here's a pterodactyl or a pteranodon. I don't know the names of them, but there's another flying. His eyes look quite mean. This is the Ciorodactylus. It's got a long beak and sharp teeth, which allow it to dip its head into water whilst keeping aware of any threats nearby. Sadly, that's all we've got time for. I hope you've enjoyed this deeper look at the game. We're really excited for you to experience it yourself on November 9th. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 news video and we've got some exciting news because the last two days we've gotten lots. We've gotten new dinosaurs, we've gotten new information about the game with gameplay that was just done today on a live stream. We've got madness and Jeff Goldblum also is funny as usual as he tries to share a story of a barracuda. But that's a whole nother topic. So today we've got a few things of news. I apologize for not being able to cover the news the other day because, well, I had to go to work and stuff when they were shared. So it was out of my hands, had to wait. But we're going to be talking about all the news, starting with the news from GamesCon that was released the day after the trailer which includes some new dinosaurs confirmed. Well, not dinosaurs, actually, but we do have one new dinosaur, which we'll talk about later. And the first one is Ichthyosaurus, which is one that was rumored to be in for a long time, which, yes, it looks awesome, actually. Jeff Goldblum joins us today as he shows us um, the new biome, which is temperate, and it shows us rain and all that stuff. We get to see some ichthy the ichthyosaurs, actually, yes, back to the ichthyosaurs, which, um, also with this, we actually get some information on the mosasaurus, which I'll get to in a second, but if we look at the design of the ichthyosaurus, it has a very reptile-like eye, which I, I do say that looks really good. I, it's a little shame that it doesn't look more like the um, walking with dinosaurs version, which I would have really liked, but who knows, maybe we'll be able to modify the skins to make it look like that. But it is really awesome, and we also get a new pterosaur confirmed, which is Ceridactyl, which is amazing. Seeing as how, if you guys didn't know, which if you're a true Jurassic Park fan like me, you should know that Ceridactyl was actually the very first pterosaur in the franchise because it was in the first novel. It wasn't Pteranodon, nor Dimorphodon, none of those ones. No, the first ever pterosaur was Ceridactyl, and it was in the very first Jurassic Park novel all the way back in 1990. And it's finally time that it gets its spotlight here, and it looks awesome. It does look very similar to the um, Pteranodon, unfortunately, 
but I can still say it looks very nice and actually looks very creepy when it stares straight at you. Even Jeff mentions that, like, oh boy, don't stare at me. And you see that it has some teeth at the front, like its paleontological counterpart. And actually, I'm pretty sure we saw this one in the um, new trailer, as it was the pterosaur, may have been the pterosaur that was flying over before we got that um, beautiful shot. Many people thought, myself included, thought it was actually going to be the JP3 Raptor, but since the design of this pterodactyl and that pterosaur are so similar, it could have been this one. So technically, we got this guy revealed a day earlier, but it is awesome to hear. And we get some news about the temperate biome, how it will be having storms and all that stuff. And that's all we get for um, the um, Gamescon for the next day, which is a little unfortunate, not too much news, but Jeff was there. He gave us all he could, which was awesome, including a Barracuda story. And now on to the live stream. So there was a few things that they mentioned, including one thing about the Mosasaurus, specifically that it can eat other uh, marine reptiles, which actually was unfortunately leaked by somebody. Somebody showed um, both how Pteranodon can pick up people and also showed the Mosasaurus literally swallowing a plesiosaurus whole, which, oh my god, that looks so horrifying. The plesiosaurus was just swimming around peacefully when out of the shadow, the Mosasaurus just came lunging out, grabbed it, swallowed it whole almost. That was amazing and horrifying at the same time. But yeah, Mosasaurus can eat the uh, others. I don't know if the other ones will be able to eat certain ones. I'm pretty sure like something like um, Attenboroughsaurus may be able to eat an Ichthyosaurus or kill it, or maybe Plesiosaurus and Attenboroughsaurus will fight since they're so similar. Maybe they'll perceive each other as threats. I don't know. Well, we'll find out in November 9th actually. But not only that, we get some news about an, the hybrids and stuff as we know that they are coming and for sure has been confirmed, even though we did a video on that a few weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago, but they officially said, yep, hybrids are coming back. And also we already knew that because on the stats for Nasutoceratops, it showed that of its many dislikes, the first one that was shown was Dr. Wu's hybrids, which has led many people to believe that um, sp the Spinoraptor, Ankylodocus, and Stegoceratops might be returning as well. I don't think that's the case because it didn't say whether it was Indominus Rex specifically or Indoraptor, which we know those two for sure are coming back. So it's 50-50. It's we may still get those three as well, but who knows. And speaking of um, hybrids in a way, Spinosaurus has been confirmed kind of by accident because in the live stream, while Mattel was trying eagerly to get the Mosasaurus released, they were planting some fish feeders for it, and one of the developers mentioned that um, the fish feeders were good for both the Mosasaurus and things like Spinosaurus and Baryonyx. And that's where we got Spinosaurus from. Like, it was very likely that Spino would return, considering how popular he was in the first game, but now we for sure know we have two Spinosaurus on the way, Baryonyx and Spinosaurus. We don't know about Sukumimus or any others, but that is that is what we have so far. And that is it, guys. That is all the news that we have for you today. Well, I have for you today. It's like I secretly have a staff behind me. But this is all the news. We got Ceridactyl. We've got... Oh, yeah, one more thing. We also have gotten more detail about the um, pack attacks for c carnivores, like... For example, they mentioned how a group of Velociraptors may be able to attack a full-grown Tyrannosaurus and actually maybe take it down, and the Tyrannosaurus could chuck them off if it tries to, which is awesome. But anyway, guys, that is all the news we have today. If there's any more that come out, I will do it as quickly as I can. But if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.